Okay, Tyler Bryden here. I hope everything's going well. Uh, I've been deep down the rabbit hole of image generation and large language models, and we all are starting to come across DALI and Mid Journey. But there's something else uh, that has been rising lately, and we can see this reflected in uh, Google Trends, and that is stable diffusion. So in this video, I want to ask, what is stable diffusion, this image generation system? What is st stability AI? Uh, how is this all coming together? How is this different? And hopefully, uh, giving you some insights along the way as well as hopefully informing myself. Uh, I'm diving deeper into this, but I'm still early into this journey just as I was in mid journey uh, a few weeks or even months ago. It's all blurring uh, when someone first introduced it for me, but I've got some resources. I got a lot of links. You can see my tab game is crazy right now. And hopefully we get some pretty uh, fascinating uh, stuff uh, along the way. So I'll click in uh, just a couple, I guess, things here. Um, we're starting to see some related queries and we're starting to see obviously there are mid journey, breakout, these are all breakout uh, queries. And then we're also seeing disco diffusion, which I want to dive in uh, deeper into uh, at a point. But let's stay with uh, the norm here, uh, which is stability AI. They are in beta access with um, opening up uh, public access soon. I don't have the exact date on when this is happening, but they're preparing for it. And then they're also preparing, what I'm interested in is some synthetic data sets around some of the outputs that they've been learning from. So uh, right away, if you are interested in this, which I'm sure you are, if you're checking out this video, you do have the beta sign up form. Uh, and uh, you know, take a, take a minute to um, check this out uh, and hopefully submit. One quick thing, uh, I was lucky enough to get into DALI early uh, not even early, I, I applied late, but submitted some of my social media profiles, some of the work that I had done in this space, and I was lucky to get approved quickly. So if you can, you know, write a nice message, show why you're doing it, share share maybe some content that you are um you know, creating around image generation and all this good stuff. And maybe you'll be more likely to get uh, streamlined into access here. I'm not sure I can't make that promise, but I've seen some very sad people uh, with uh, with DALI uh, there. So I wanna tap into, first of all, what is stability AI? And to be honest, there's a little bit of confusion here on my side. Um, I mean, amazing sort of overall miss mission, AI for the people, uh, by the people, for the people and they're designing and implementing solutions using collective intelligence and augmented technology. So apparently they have a developer community of over 20,000 members and uh, developing open AI. Uh, open AI shots fired a little bit because it seems like they're focused on uh, open source and they're actually re releasing the actual m code, the weight, and access to the models that they've built in a much more uh, rich way than these other systems which are now being um, sort of uh, uh, scrutinized for their lack of, you know, lack of transparency and some of the black box of the technology um, that it has. And, and then this is where I get a little bit uh, confused. I see all these uh, all these pieces, and I've I've heard a couple of a, a bunch of these all sort of uh, separated. And so I'm going to do a little bit of a deeper dive to understand how they're connected. But for this case, um, you know, it seems like they've got an incredible team full of technical talent who are focused on bringing cutting a cutting edge open AI models to the world. And what we're focused on specifically in this video is stable diffusion, which is um, if I uh, jump into the announcement, which is a uh, text to image model. Uh, and ideally what they're hoping, and I believe this is probably what will happen is that they're uh, planning on empowering billions of people uh, to create stunning art within seconds. Um, they are open to researchers at this current moment. And then what's you know interesting is another huge leader in the space uh, is actually the one um, hosting this. So again, all these links will be here. Once you do get access, if you get if you do get through this and and, and get that get that nice in invite, uh, you can then go to hugging face and then this is where you actually um, can run uh, you can run some of the, uh, basically you can run the tech. And it looks like people are now working on other ways and Google Collabs and other ways to then do this technology. But for now, Hugging Face, uh, the model weights are hosted by there. And so that opens up a lot of uh, access and sort of democratize, democratization to this technology that I think people are very excited about. Hugging Face has a great, great brand and is doing some amazing uh, stuff in this space. And so there's a lot in this article. Again, it's going to be linked. A couple of things that were really interesting to me was it runs on under 10 gigabytes uh, of uh, on consumer, basically on consumer GPUs, and it generates a 512 by 512 pixels, which is not the biggest image 
uh, you know, it's going to be hard, you know, that's not even matching uh, where we want for like, you know, people posting on Instagram and backgrounds and things, but it's still pretty good quality, better than mini Dali and things that we've seen. And the fact that you can run this locally uh, is pretty uh, incredible thing. So um, people will be able to run this at home. That was some of the excitement that I've seen in the comments uh, uh, below sort of on threads and videos and everything there. And then to this date, they're testing with over 10,000 beta testers and they're creating 1.7 million images a day. So this is wildly popular already being ad adapt adapted. And uh, just like we've seen a huge explosion with DALI, with Mini DALI, with Mid Journey, and then many others, Wombo and all these others, this, this is not going away. People are overjoyed at the potential of this and are now trying to figure out which system works best, which one it has the best price point. And that's some of the challenges that I think are now arising with OpenAI and DALI, people doing direct comparisons to, of course, the quality of output, but then the actual cost of that, how much how much refinement or how many prompts do I need to do to get to the high quality um, output that I'm looking for? And if that's too expensive, it will create barriers, especially because a lot of this is very creative, personal um, work and not necessarily direct business use cases. Uh, and that's why I think we've seen the rise of prompt design, prompt engineering. I've shared on prompt base. I've shared on the prompt, da uh, the, the Dali prompt book, lots more coming around refining these prompts and understanding what should we put in uh, to then get the output that we want. And it seems like systems like this will allow us to do even more to modify the output without even the constraints of uh, maybe you know 400 character prompts, which then gives us more control and more ability to get the final image, the final output um, that we want. So uh, there's a lot uh, uh, in, the, uh, in, in this, um, you know, all over the place. I've got links, I've got, I'm gonna follow these, uh, these guys because I haven't yet. We've actually got a GitHub um, a Stable Diffusion uh, piece that talks about it um, and, uh, and you know, it basically talks about the comparison, but then does step by step, um, you know, walkthroughs of how to understand it, um, how it compares with other platforms, and then a bunch of other stuff which I haven't, unfortunately, gotten able to dive deep enough into yet. But as I do, I'll be sharing. We're now seeing what's really interesting too is. Uh, videos um, that are being published on it. So Matt VidPro, 128K uh, um, subscribers. And he's talking a lot about this sort of image generation. And you can see, you know, this one wasn't as big, but a couple of the other videos he's done have actually been pretty significant in size. And I'm excited to see, you know, more and more people sort of walking through these, sharing it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm personally fired up uh, about this. Now, I got to make the connection here, um, another video that I'm um, sourcing, but this is the guy who did the, uh, or, or talked about the GPT uh, 4chan, the 4chan GPT, uh, and all the sort of, um, you know, uh, dangerous precedents that that set and the abilities of that to uh, do some pretty dangerous things. So check that video out if you haven't, it's like uh, the 4, 4chan GPT. Um, but he also has uh, an interview with Mad Mostak, and I'm prob I apologize for pronouncing that uh, improperly if I did, the founder of Stability Ad. And it seems like there's a lot of people who are looking up to him because he is so focused on basically building, um, you know, open source models and, uh, you know, technology for people, not just with image generation, but uh, with, um, you know, all sorts of technology. And I think that's a very admirable thing, especially in the world that we live in. So super interested to follow him. I do have his uh, Twitter profile uh, up here. So if you're interested in following him, uh, you can check, uh, check that out. And he's, you know, seems very, um, you know, relatively uh, accurate. He's retweeting, he's asking for feedback. So if you have feedback, please give it to them. Uh, and then I'm also have got the, the Stable Diffusion um, page here um, as well too. So I've got the website, everything there. And then I just took a look to see, you know, what, what is actually coming out when I look at hashtags or sort of mentions around this. And from what I'm seeing, it is incredible, incredible art. Um, and it's coming back fairly quickly at pretty good high, at pretty good resolution at 512 by 512. And it seems like, you know, every day people seem to just get better at, uh, you know, generating these uh, images from it. Um, people uh, had a conversation about this, um, uh, talking about how good this is and, you know, why, you know, as some, as an artist, how he's both, you know, scared, but also incredibly excited of the potential and asked for people to iterate on some images um, that he is moving. So um, I, 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 like, you know, you can see here talking about the momentum, I see that momentum just based on this. This is absolutely insane. And uh, I can see, apologize for that. Um, I can see, I've had to reset an email. Um, uh, I've got a stable to fusion here. 
So there's now a subreddit dedicated to it. I expect uh, that to be um, uh, you get, getting more and more popular. You can see sort of the density of uh, those in hours go by and, and continue to increase. It's going to get more. We've got lots of sort of um, comments here. Uh, if I refresh this page, sorry. Um, uh, there we go. Um, you can see people asking questions. So people are asking for tutorials. <laughs> refresh this page. All my Reddit pages need to be refreshed. And then we've got um, uh, it's some uh, some Twitter follow and some Twitter creators who are using this system and are are getting lots of heat as well as a Y Combinator Y Hacker thread on it as well too. So people talking about Dali being too expensive. Um, uh, just sort of having challenges with open AI in general and um, and then like the way that they're sort of limiting output so I think you know there is flack against uh, some of these systems which I think in originally get a lot of love and then innovation people who love open source they then create competitive competition they create good competition and that drives more innovation so um, I think people overall um, agree that this is a great thing if open source versions come out and are comparable or at even the similar quality they they will be able to force uh, OpenAI to maybe make changes to their business model, maybe make pricing uh, less expensive, um, and all those sort of good things that come with innovation and competition and different people working on the same technology. So, uh, you know, this is just a, a, a fresh sort of like, what is um, stable diffusion image generation by Stability AI? Uh, me asking this question and walking through a couple things and some resources for you to then dive deeper into this. One of the other things that I do want to tap into, and I'll put some things, just some links at the end, which is um, this Disco Diffusion, trying to understand the difference between them. And it seems like more and more tools and versions of this are coming live and I'm you know incredibly excited I'm following along I'm participating uh, and uh, very excited for this to come onto my radar here with what they're doing um, at Stable Diffusion I'll be uh, or at Stability AI with Stable Diffusion I'll be uh, submitting my uh, application here hopefully get in and maybe I'll be able to share some insights uh, along the way from what I learned but this was uh, a quick look at um, at this, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any thoughts or uh, please feel encouraged, any insights, anything that I missed, anything that I got wrong, please feel encouraged to, to drop a comment below. Like, comment, subscribe if you are enjoying talking about this. It gives me the motivation to continue. And if you have questions or want me to explore things deeper, please let me uh, know. I'm more than happy to. I absolutely love this stuff. I have been Tyler Bryden checking out um, Stability AI, Stable Diffusion, Image Generation. We have a world, an incredible world ahead of us uh, with this kind of technology. And I'm glad to see more and more of it coming. Glad to seeing it getting more popular and of course there are risks but overall I think we have a huge human ingenuity and creativity at our fingertips right now and this is going to continue to emerge a very very exciting time thank you very much have a great rest of your day bye-bye